The militant group Hezbollah has reportedly been withdrawing fighters from the Syrian conflict where they've been battling opposition forces. According to some estimates, more than 10,000 Hezbollah soldiers have been involved in the conflict. Archie's policy looks now at the group's role in the Syrian war and its position in the Arab world. Remember this war? Hezbollah fired almost 4,000 rockets into Israel. Seven years on, the group has tripled its missile arsenal, prompting Washington to say the group has more missiles than most governments in the world. They had some 13, 15,000 missiles, long-range missiles before that. Now, according to evaluates of the Israeli intelligence, they have more than 50,000. From a small militia that emerged in the early 80s, Hezbollah has grown to an organization with seats in the Lebanese government, a radio and satellite television station, and programs for social development. It's been called a state within a state. Hezbollah is a very interesting combination. It's not just a political party and not just a resistance group, but a combination of both. They have a political wing, a military wing, and an economic wing. It built a very respectful place in South Lebanon and in the places where the Shia are living in Lebanon. The movement runs hospitals, clinics, schools, as well as agricultural centers that provide farmers with technical assistance and training. It supports families of fighters who die in battle. But hostility to Israel is the party's defining platform, especially since May 2000, when the last Israeli troops left Lebanon, largely because of the success of Hezbollah fighters. But whereas Hezbollah's popularity peaked then, opinion over the organization is divided. Most of the Arab and Muslim world see Hezbollah as a resistance and social movement, more powerful than the Lebanese government. But the United States, European Union, of course Israel, and others regard it as a terrorist organization. Terrorist organization. Terrorist organizations like Hezbollah. It's time to name Hezbollah as a terrorist organization to take action against it. Its recent intervention in Syria has also been highly controversial. Beirut and many in the international community have criticized the group for taking the side of the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad. The Assad regime had a long history of uh, relationship with the Shiite community in Lebanon because, by the way, the uh, leader of the Amal movement, uh, the uh, Imam Abu Musa Sadr, uh, gave a fatwa, a religious uh, dictate in 1974-75, which for the first time recognized the Alawites as real Shiites. Uh, since the uh, Israeli-Lebanon war in uh, 1982, Syria has supported to develop a uh, Islamist uh, Shiite organization, which became Hezbollah. Between 82 and 85, uh, the Syrians gave the strategic umbrella. This alliance grew stronger because of common cause. It's kept Iraq from becoming the predominant regional power and stopped Israel's efforts to bring Lebanon into its orbit. What I can tell you is that Syria is a key element in an axis of resistance. This is why no one knows for sure how an American aggression against Syria might play out eventually. Not even the Americans, who have been pushing for an intervention. Israel has already tried her hand. And although she won't publicly admit it, it's widely accepted Tel Aviv was behind at least four military strikes inside Syria, aimed at preventing weapons from being transferred from Damascus to Hezbollah. In a shift from her usual non-committal public stance, Tel Aviv also recently called for Assad to be toppled. But any attack on Syria will undoubtedly invoke Hezbollah retaliation a scenario that could make the war in 2006 look like a minor squabble. Paulus Lea RT, Tel Aviv.